Summertime, some of us that means catching a baseball game. They go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah, and here in Toledo, of course, we're super lucky to have the mm -hmm. mud hens right downtown. But it's not just about the baseball at the games. It's about the snacks, too, right? Love the snacks. Yes. And this week's Try This on WTL 11, I got to see what goes into being one of the best cotton candy vendors. <laughs> Take a look. I've been going to Mud Hen games for many, many years, even as far back as Skeldon Stadium before they moved here to Fifth Third Field. Usually buying beers when the vendors come by, but the Mud Hens asked me, hey, Dan, would you like to make some cotton candy, see if you can sell it? I thought, yeah, I'd like to try this. Don't know anything. I've eaten cotton candy. I know nothing about making it. Show us what we have to do. All you have to do is pour sugar inside here, and everything flavored. This is blue raspberry. What I like to do is go halfway, then as you're going, turn it on, yep. it evens it out. Okay. Yeah, I can see it starting to... Look like a spider web there. Oh uh, yeah, it does. I always love when I'm making it at the Huntington Center. I always say there's like little tiny elves in there making cotton candy. You should swirl it, use your wrist, and just spin it around. Wow. And I gently push it against the wall. Yeah. It makes that formation. There's no wrong way of making cotton candy. Look at that, huh? Try this. <laughs> So it keeps the cotton candy fresh and everything. You just tie it up and you made a cotton candy. Well, uh, nice. Thank you. Love that. Hey, get your cotton candy. Cotton candy here. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You want some cotton candy? Fresh cotton candy. Oh. Who wants some cotton candy over here? Oh, we've got a sale, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Would you like the pink or the blue? Pink. Is that good? This is like, it's so easy. All right, kid. Hey, watch this. So, uh, I'll trade you. How many, how many of these would it take for a Bud Light? Can I also you, put in on this trick? You give me a Bud Light, I'll give you, uh, all right, two blues. See, I don't even know how much Wait a minute, <laughs> They're five bucks a piece. How much is the beer? Five bucks a beer is nine seventy. so that'll be about two of them. I'll give you two of them. Cut candy! You just retired? Yes! Congratulations! Um, what flavor would you like, little girl? <laughs> well, what do you have? Well, I've got the blue, and I've got the pink. Um, I tried to bribe the beer guy into giving me a Bud Light for two of these, but about it, that, he didn't like that idea very much. Yeah. I'll take one of each. You want one of each? Yeah! Pink and a blue? Yeah! There you go. Thank you! Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> and that you was did pretty good. That was my career as a vendor at Mother Hens. Very good. And I, I had I called you a jerk when you were like teasing that little girl when you wouldn't give her a cotton candy. That was candy. fun messing with the kids. That <laughs> they seemed fun. like it seemed like you enjoyed it, Dan. I, I had a good time actually. I I, I mess with my grandkids that way too. <laughs> you could, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to check out a game the Mud Hens are playing all weekend long at Fifth Third Field, playing the Louisville Bats. It's actually Boots and Baseball Weekend where you're encouraged to cheer on the Hens in your country themed getups. There's even a post game concert fireworks show on. Saturday. Great place to be there at Fifth Third Field. Speaking of fireworks, you know the Mud Hens have some big plans heading into the 4th this weekend. The Rock and Blast celebration is July 1st with a Jamie Farr bobblehead giveaway to mark his 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Jamie. Yes. And ends, his, uh, ends on July 3rd with the team's big fireworks show at Fifth Third.